My friends, the award is lovely. And I thank the OBA and the members of the selection committee for honoring me. Chief Justice, thank you for the wonderful painting of treasure and always a treasure. And Andy, thanks for their remarks. Uh, how, how can I, how do I, I much rather prefer not to have had a stroke. <laughs> Suddenly, on the morning of October 1, 2010, while I was on a conference call, I remember the pain in my brain. It was excruciating. And I recall that in this frightful moment, I could not remember neither my birthday, nor the, the, nor the name of my father-in-law, little things that mean so much only when they're gone. Then, for the first seven days of this strange odyssey, were and are still a blank to me. When I awoke, I found that I could walk and I could think. At least, I thought I could think. <laughs> but I couldn't write except my name, and I couldn't speak except four words. Wow, consequences, <laughs> Paul, and Franklin. <laughs> Then I realized that I could not remember nouns, or verbs, or adjectives, or prepositions. I couldn't remember. I couldn't remember the name for this class, or for a fork, or a spoon. Even the simplest monosyllabic words, to, of, for, he, she, it, advantage. And then when they eventually started to come back to me, I frequently confused them, even today. I was a trial lawyer, but I could not speak. I was a trial lawyer that could not speak. In the blink of a stroke, in the vanishing moment, I passed into a different realm. I went from powerful to powerless. In short, I learned that God had played an entirely an amusing trick on me. The doctors called it aphasia. Aphasia means an inability to understand or produce speech due to brain damage. After three weeks at Johannu Western Hospital, I was transferred to the Toronto Rehab Facility on University Avenue. 
There, I was too, I was made to engage in activities I normally associated with my education of my grandchildren. I was shown and asked to identify objects in pictures. For example, I recognized a toothbrush, but I couldn't name what I saw. I wanted Kathy to take me for a meal in Yorkville, but I couldn't say the words. No one not Kathy, or my children, or my sister Terry, understood me. Then came a great miracle. I began to feel the profession rallying behind me. So many prayers, so many flowers, so many letters, so many emails. So many visitors. I'll never forget when Shield Block turned on my stroke. In the best traditions of the bar, she immediately agreed to adjourn the manual life class action trial for a year. And she and Wendy Matheson sent flowers and good wishes. Thank you very much. In time, I started to get out a little bit. I went to Gloria Epstein's birthday party, 50th birthday party. I have it been. Never left me, 
never left my side in those darkest days. And on behalf of my entire family, most of whom are present tonight, enjoying this special moment, moment with me, I thank you for this honor. I thank you from the bottom of my